The loons. They're welcoming us back. I don't hear a thing. Just look at this place. It's a mess, isn't it? Just take a second. You're all ship shape again. And warm up.
Phone works. At least I think it does. Hello? 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 Who the hell is that? Who the hell is in this picture here? Who the hell is that? No. Who's this? The operator. Oh, what do you want? Uh, you called, must want something. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I did call you, but you never answered. Well, how are you? Oh, how nice. Listen, this is Norman Thayer Jr. over on Golden Pond. I have something I want you to do. Call me up. Can you do that? Yeah, I want to check my phone, see if it still rings. Hadn't, hadn't rung all winter, may have lost its whatsy. You have my number? Yeah, I have no idea. It's got a nine, that's all I know. Well, it's in the book. It must have a book. Norman Thayer, Jr. Let's give her a try, shall we? Summer's at the door. Well, look at you. Uh, look at me. Quite a sight, aren't I? Oh, Norman. It's so beautiful. Everything's just waking up. Little tiny birds, little tiny leaves. I saw a whole patch of little tiny flowers over by the old cellar hole. Uh, I forget what they're called. Little tiny yellow things. <laughs> well, want to help me with the dust covers? I don't have anything else to do. Come on. What were you doing out in the woods? Norman, what do you think I was doing? I was getting wood. Hey, I met the nicest couple. Huh? Where? In the woods. A couple of people? No, a couple of antelope. Of course, a couple of people. Their name is Migliore, I believe. Migliore? What sort of name is that? I don't know, darling. Italian, I suppose. They're up from Boston. They speak English? Well, of course they speak English. They're a nice middle-aged couple, just like us. If they're just like us, they're not middle-aged. <laughs> of course they are. Middle-aged means the middle, Ethel, the middle of life. People don't live to be 150. Well... We're at the far edge of middle age, that's all. We're not, you know. We're not middle aged. You're old and I'm ancient. Oh, poo. You're in your 70s and I'm in my 60s. Just barely on both counts. Would you like to spend the rest of the afternoon quibbling about this? We can if you like. <laughs> For the Lord's sake. The Migliores, whatever their age group, have invited us to have dinner sometime. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure my stomach's ready for rigatoni, that sort of thing. Oh, no! Poor Elmer! He's had a terrible fall. Poor little Elmer, the life you've led. He was my first true love, you know. No, not along. I wasn't the first in line. <laughs> no, you were a rather cheap substitute for Elmer. And now he's had a fall. Poor Maybe he wanted to kill God. himself. He wanted to... Be cremated. Probably got cancer, termites or something. Shut up, Norman. Not a bad way to go, huh? Quick front flip off the mantle, bit of a kick at the last minute, end up putting the fire, nothing to it. Norman, will you shut up? Now, my number's up. Do that for me, will you? Prop me up with the mantle, point out which way it's down. Might even try for a full gainer with a half twist. Norman Thayer Jr., your fascination with dying is beginning to frazzle my good humor. Mm, not fascination, just... Cross my mind now and then. Every five minutes, don't you have anything else to think about? Nothing quite as interesting. Well, what's stopping you? Mm -hmm. Why don't you take your dive and get it over with? I leave you alone with Elmer. You must be mad. Oh, for pity's sake. Come on, help me get the canoe off the porch. I'm paddling. Then you're not steering. You want me to take the stern. 
I most certainly do not. Can you see them? No. Oh. Oh. Oh, my goodness. There they are. <laughs> oh, they're so beautiful. Yeah, they're huge. I never saw such big loons in my life. <laughs> Those are boats, you poop. Come in closer. A husband and wife. <laughs> I think they're looking at us. They are. <laughs> What the hell's the matter with them? Hey, buzz off! Buzz off! Ethel, what are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? Don't do that. Why not? You did it. Never mind, I'll explain later. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. How about that? Right on your man. Where were you? Where was I? Oh, come off it. Don't give me that. Five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten, damn. eleven. Yes, damn it. Good night, sweet prince. Five, ten, fifteen, and twenty. Whoa, <laughs> mother! <laughs> You want to stay here and watch the boat while I run into the store? I think I'm qualified to watch the boat. Come with me if you want to. No, thank you very much. Okay. Hello, Sumner. Good morning, Mrs. Thayer. Will you fill her up, please? Sure. Norman will help you. Uh, that'll be $38, please, Mr. Thayer. Yeah. You know how much gasoline costs an eyes your age? 12 cents a gallon. Is that a fact? I didn't even know they had gas back then. What are you, a couple of nitwits? Think it's funny being old? My old goddamn body's falling apart. Sometimes I can't even go to the bathroom when I want to. But I'm still a man, let me tell you, and I can take on both you punks. Over. Here we go. Thanks, boys. I'll drive home. Are you sure? Yeah. If you make the wrong turn, wind up in Michigan or someplace, be sure you let me know. <laughs> Summer's at the door. It's me, old poop. Where have you been? Picking strawberries. There were oodles and oodles of little strawberries along the old town road. Oh, nice. What on earth you're doing in here on a morning like this, Norman, is beyond me. Uh, I've been quite busy looking through yesterday's paper for gainful employment. Here we go again. Very good prospects, I think. Chauffeurs, yard work. Derry Devine wants a ice cream dipper. I think do something like that, don't you? What do you think? What are you going to do <laughs> if you call and they say, come on over and start tomorrow? Come on over, start tomorrow. Oh, for the love of God, Norman, what on earth's the matter with you? Look, give me that stuff. 
Why don't you take these buckets and go pick us another quart of strawberries, and I'll fix us up a scrumptious strawberry shortcake for lunch. Go on. You want me to pick strawberries? Yep. Do I have to put an ad in the paper? I'm not sure know how to pick strawberries. Really very simple, Norman. You bend over and you pick them. Bend over? Hmm. Where are they? On the ground, where they belong. Just tell me to pick blueberries on a bush. You didn't have to bend over at all. These are strawberries, and they grow on the ground. Oh. Here comes what's-his-name. He'll have the paper, you know. I don't want to miss any career opportunities off looking for strawberries. I'll pay you, Norman. Maybe the beginning of something big. You may become a major strawberry picker. Not if I'm bending over, old son. I think you're trying to kill me. I thought about it. Well, you needn't bother. I'm living on barred time as it is. Oh, will you take your cheery personality and get out of here? I hope you're prepared to massage my bent back this evening. With pleasure. Well, maybe I can lie down to pick the berries. Morning, Ethel. Hi, Charlie. Come on up and have some coffee. You can date five minutes. You got a letter from Chelsea? <laughs> yeah, the rest is just bills and junk sure. like that. Sure, go on in. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh, I think I broke your door. No, no, it's been that way for months now. Norman's supposed to fix it, but I'm afraid it's not high on his list of priorities. <laughs> Already, you barely left. Oh, move fast. Ran all the way, picked that stop, and ran all the way back. Let me see what you got. I'll oh, just dump them in with yours. No. Nope. Not a single berry. What's the matter with you? Must have eaten them all. No mail today, Charlie? Holy macaroni, I left it on the porch. How about bringing it in? Can you do that? Who's your bed? Glass of milk, Norman. Oh. See, you broke the screen door, Charlie. Oh, well, it's just missing this little thingamabobbers for the hinges. I could bring a couple from town tomorrow. Uh, just be careful next time. There it is, Norman. Drink it. Thank you, nurse. Uh -oh. Finish your coffee over here. There you go. What you got there, Norman? I have no idea. I can't open it. Here, bite this, please. Oh, just his medicine. 
goody, what a swell surprise. Nothing serious, just for his palpitations. That's right, Charlie. I have occasional heart throbs. Norman, I got a letter from Chelsea. Look at the goddamn Orioles. Baltimore's always been a sneaky town. Norman, she's coming for your birthday. Oh, how nice. Yep, and she's bringing a friend. She has the nicest boyfriend. Oh. They're coming together, and then they're going on to Europe for a while. Oh, uh, really? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I don't want crowds of people going on my birthday. I don't want crowds of people watching me turn older. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. It's not that Freddy person. This is a different boyfriend altogether. What the hell's going on? Detroit's disappeared. Good God. What is it, Norman? Detroit's gone. What happened to her husband? What is it, Charlie? I was wondering what happened to Chelsea's husband. He didn't work out. Hey. She's... <laughs> she says... She says she's in love with a dentist. Now, does her boyfriend know about this? This is her new boyfriend. Her new boyfriend is a dentist. That's who she's bringing here, a dentist? Yep. Good God, they be staring at her teeth all the time. Well, shall we ask him not to come? No, I think we should have representatives from all walks of life at my last birthday party. Oh, looks. I think this medicine should be put away from all this hot air. Why didn't you marry Chelsea? Well, you wouldn't let me. Oh, if you married somebody else, I'd allow that. I didn't want anyone else. Oh. <laughs> How old will you be? When? On your birthday. 103. <laughs> Miss Apley was 97 in May. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. She died, you know. No. Now, yep, last Tuesday. We got a call in case any mail comes up. Gave you a forwarding address for Miss Apley? What's so funny? One of the lesbians expired. Oh, oh. no. Which one, Tommy? <laughs> Miss Apley. Well, she had a good full life. Charlie said she was 97. 97? Isn't that wonderful? Puts us all to shame, doesn't it? There's something to be said for a deviant lifestyle. <laughs> Well, thanks for the coffee, Ethel. You still make the best biscuits on the lake. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. You must come around when Chelsea comes. Oh, hey, I haven't seen her in a long time. No. Well... Norman, Charlie's leaving. Good. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Watch out for that screen door. Listen to this. Retired people sought for hand bill delivery. Some walking involved. I should call. I can walk. Is that why you came rushing back here to read those goddamned ads? You want to know why I came back so fast? I got the end of our lane. I couldn't remember where the old town road was. One little way in the woods, there was nothing familiar, not one damn tree. It scared me half to death. That's why I came running back here to you, see your pretty face. I could feel safe, I was still me.
after lunch. After we've gobbled up all those silly strawberries, we'll take ourselves to the old town road. We've been there a thousand times, darling. A thousand. And you'll remember it all. Listen to me, mister. You're my knight in shining armor. Don't you forget it. You're gonna get back on that horse. And I'm gonna be right behind you, holding on tight. And away we're gonna go, go, go. I don't like horses. <laughs> you are a pretty old dame, aren't you? <laughs> what are you doing with a daddy or some bitch like me? Well, I haven't the vaguest idea. I think you should do that in front of Chelsea's companion. Oh, Pooh. I was just talking to my friends. Hey, look at you. My, oh, my, you have on a tie. Yes, I know. I put it there. Do I look all right? I haven't overdressed, have I? You look sexy. I'm going to have to do some pretty fast maneuvers to catch up with you. I have some other ties. You could come as Miss Apley. Oh, look. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Welcome home, Chelsea. I see my birthday party wasn't cause enough for a celebration. <laughs> I just wanted our little girl to feel welcome, that's all. Yeah. Norman, wouldn't it be nice if we could all get along this time? Hmm. So. Where the hell are they? I'm getting older by the minute. Oh, they said they'd be here when they get here. Is that what they said? Yep. That's a hell of an attitude. No wonder we don't have any grandchildren. <laughs> what would we do with grandchildren? Toss them on our knee. Well, the last of affairs, you know. End of the line for a damn good name. Yep. And we're going to take it out in style. Oh, my God. They're here, not, not even dressed. I look like an old character. You are an old character. Oh, no. Go on upstairs and change. It'll make you feel any better. Like, be nice to them. Sure. I'll explain the risks involved in being late to an old man's birthday party. Uh -huh. Anybody home? Oh, too late. Look, move that flower vase over to the other side of the table. Why? Just do it, Norman, for once. Just do it. Hey, hey. oh, mommy. Oh, darling. Oh, oh, oh. What a treat. Let me look at you. Oh, you're great. Where is he? Just inside the door. Go ahead. He's waiting for you. Hello, Norman. Oh, Happy look birthday. at you. <laughs> look at this little fat girl, Ethel. Oh, Norman, you're as thin as a rail, isn't she? Sure. Oh, my mm. darling, I'm so glad you're home. Here, give me all those bundles. I didn't think we were going to make it. We oh. rented a car that explodes every 40 miles. Oh, rented a car, huh? In Boston. What sort of car is it? I, I don't know. 
Green, I think. Oh, a green car. I meant what sort of make is it? I don't know. <laughs> she doesn't know, Norman. It doesn't matter. Of course it doesn't matter. I'm just curious. Well, I guess I should have looked. Let's see, it's, um, it's very ugly, and it breaks down a lot. <laughs> <laughs> ugly and breaks down? <laughs> Sounds like a Nash. Yes, well... Where, where's where's your, your friend? You did bring your friend, didn't you? I knew there was something I was forgetting. <laughs> That's still on, huh? Well, as far as I know. Oh, come on in. No one's gonna fight you. Come on. Mommy, Norman, this is Billy Ray. Oh. How you doing? You seem awfully young to be a dentist. <laughs> this is Billy Ray, Jr. Here. Oh. I'm Norman Thayer, Jr. Where's... His father is trying to park the car. Well, this is a great surprise. You can call me Ethel Billy, and you can call Norman Norman. <laughs> I like your logic, Mommy. <laughs> I'm going to go see if Bill is driven into the lake. I'll put away some of these things. I hear you turned 80 today. Is that what you heard? Yeah. Man, that's really old. Yeah. You should meet my father. Your father's still alive? No, nah, but you should meet him. Isn't this fun? Norman, why don't we put Billy in Chelsea's old room then he can look out at the lake in the morning? Why don't we put him out on the float? He can look at the lake all night long. I'd like that. Oh, I'm afraid you'll be eaten alive by all the bugs. So? Norman, take him up. Show him where everything is. Come on, boy. I just had a birthday, too. I turned 13 two weeks ago. Oh, we're practically twins. I'm so glad you're here. I'll be right in. He actually thinks you have to lock your car. Mm. Mommy, mm. Norman looks so old. Oh, I don't know. You look great, though. <laughs> Thank you. So do you. I love your hair. Thanks. How's his mind? Is he remembering things better? Is he, uh... Oh, he's all right. He's all right. Come on, Billy. I'm going to show you the bathroom if I can remember where it is. Well, at least he hasn't changed. <laughs> no, nope. he's still impossible. It means so much to him to have you here. Sure, now he's got someone he can pick on. Oh, come on. Thank you for coming. Thank you for inviting me. Hmm. Well, you finally made it. Oh. This is my mother. Hi. This is Bill Ray. Hello. <laughs> I think I saw a bear. No, no. Huh? You couldn't have seen a bear out there at this time of year. There are some rather nasty moths flying around, though. No, no, this, this was a little big for moth. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to be scared, well, you meet my father. <laughs> hey, Dad! Hey, Billy! Dad, they do have indoor plumbing here. Oh, great. Uh, Chelsea was just bullshitting us. I like to paint a rather rustic picture of life on Golden Pond. Oh, it's rustic, all right. <laughs> That's lovely, though. It's lovely rusticity. Yeah, we've been peeing indoors for 40 years. <laughs> uh, you must be Norman. Yeah, must be. Who are you? Bill Ray. Bill Ray? Yes, sir. The dentist? Yes, sir. Want to see my teeth? <laughs> <laughs> I'd just like to tell you, sir, how glad we are to be here. Chelsea's told me so much about you and your, your lovely wife, your wonderful place here on the lake. We're, we're very pleased she's brought us here. I'm frankly surprised Chelsea could find the way. Well, she's here, Norman, and that's what's important. Do you visit your parents, young man? Oh, no, sir. My parents both passed away. I see. Then you have a good excuse, don't you? Norman, please. <laughs> Norman, why? What? Am I not allowed to speak to our guests? Is that it? They're afraid I'm going to embarrass them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to go say hello to the lake. Anybody coming? Uh, me. I've never seen anyone say hello to a lake before. Mommy, you coming? Yeah. Want to take the boat? A oh, boat, all right. Bill, aren't you coming? Where, outside? Well, that's where the lake is. Coming, Norman? No, I think I'll just sit here and enjoy the quiet. I'll stay, too. With Bill. 
The screen door's broken. Really? No one will fix it. Love your house. Now you, it's not for sale. I don't want to buy it. I just, I just like it. it has a, it has a charming ambiance. Well, how does it feel to turn eighty? Twice as bad as it did turning forty. <laughs> I know what that's like. I turned uh, 45 years ago. 45 now. Norman. Huh? Uh, do you mind if I call you Norman? I believe you just did. Well, I don't want to press. Um, what, what should I call your wife? How about Ethel? That's her name, Ethel Thayer. Yeah. Sound like I'm lifting, doesn't it? <laughs> Ethel Thayer. Almost kept her from marrying me. Yeah. Wanted me to change my last name to hers. What was that? I don't remember. Uh -huh. Well, uh, I think I'll start a new book. Let's see if I can finish it before I'm. Finish myself. Maybe a novelette. Maybe something from Reader's Digest to Bridge. There's Treasure Island. Ever read this book? Oh, yeah, that's that's a great book. I'd highly, highly recommend that one. Yeah, no need for that. I've read it myself. Yeah. What? My mind is going, so it'll all be new to me. Uh, that Sonny has ever read this book? I don't think so. Your son hasn't read Treasure Island? No, but I, uh, I intend to have him read it. His, his mother's been uh, the real force in his life lately, but I, I intend to eradicate uh, you know, some of the uh, dishevelment. Actually, uh, actually, things are, are are coming together very nicely for me lately. I mean, I'm, I'm beginning to feel very, very good about myself. Meeting, meeting Chelsea was a major thing. And we have a, we have a very kinetic relationship. It's very, very positive. I'm, I'm sure you'd be pleased. What do you charge for filling? Hmm. You're a dentist, aren't you? What do you charge for filling? Well, it's generally $40. $40? Good God. Norman, we'd like to sleep together if, if you know, if it's all right with you. What do you mean? Well, we'd, we'd like to sleep together in, in the same room, same, same bed, if, you know, if it's not offensive to you. All three of you? No, just two. You and Billy? No. Not Chelsea and Billy? No. Well, at least Chelsea knew them. That's right. Why would I find that offensive? You're not planning on doing something unusual, are you? No, 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 no. Just, um, you know, just. Ah, doesn't seem too offensive. As long as you're quiet. Thank you. Chelsea always slept in the same bed with her husband. Yeah, I'm sure. Ethel and I do, you know. We sleep together, been doing it for years. Sure. Yeah. Ah, I guess I'd be. Delighted to have you abuse my daughter under my own roof. Would you like the room where I first violated her mother? 
Or would you be interested in the master bedroom? Ethel and your boy and I could sleep out back. You could do it right here on the hearth. Like that idea? You're having a good time, aren't you? Huh? Chelsea told me all about how you like to have a good old time with people's heads. She does, too, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I can get into it. And it's sometimes not. I think you should know I've, I'm pretty good at recognizing crap when I hear it. You know, it's not, it's not imperative that you and I become friends. But I thought it would be nice. I'm sure you're a very fascinating person. And I thought it would be fascinating getting to know you. That's obviously not an easy task. No. You just go ahead and be as poopy as you want, to, to quote Chelsea, and I'll be as receptive and as pleasant as I can be, but uh, I want you to bear one thing in mind while you're jerking me around, making me feel like an asshole. I know precisely what you're up to. I'll take just so much of it. Okay? Now, what is the bottom line on this illicit sex question? Very good. That was a good speech. Bottom line, yeah, you're a bottom line man. All right, here's the bottom line. Okay. Hmm? You seem like a nice man. A bit verbose, but nice. Thank you. And you're right about me. I am fascinating. I'm sure you are. Let's get back to talking about sex. Anything you want to know, just ask me. No, I just, um, I just wanted to, to clear up that little question. I mean, Chelsea and I can sleep together, right? Sure, please do. <laughs> Just don't let Ethel catch you. Dad! Dad! I paddled a canoe. A canoe. It's a boat, just like the Indians had, you know? Actually, the Indians use a different grade of aluminum. Yeah. Uh, listen, Chelsea wants you to come down the lake. She and Ethel are going skinny dipping. Skinny dipping? <laughs> Go ahead. Permissiveness runs rampant here on Golden Pond. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Oh, um, are there any bears around here? Oh, sure. Black bears and grizzlies. One came along here last month and they had an old lesbian. Dad, come on. He's just bullshitting. Come on. Okay. Hey, hey, where do you think you're going? A skinny dipping with Chelsea. No, 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 no. You're going back inside and talk to Mr. Thayer. Bullshit! Dad, I'm not going in there with that old turkey, man. He gives me the creeps. What if he dies? Now, listen to me. If you don't start behaving yourself, I'm going to send you right back to your mother. Do you understand that? Is that what you want? Now, go back in there and talk to her. Maybe you'll learn something. Go on, go on. Oh, remember? Remember when I was nine years old and I and I came down and caught you in Norman skinny dipping? No, I don't remember. That. Oh, don't you remember? I had that big light and I shone it on Norman oh, on the diving God. board and he was all naked <laughs> and he screamed at me. Don't you yes, remember? He yes, called yes. me a spy and sent me to my room for oh, the rest of the dear. year. Yeah. Oh, it took me so long to get over that. Well, it took Norman a long time before he'd go skinny dipping again. <laughs> He wouldn't even get out of the water till I went up and made sure that you were asleep. Oh. <laughs> I was so bloody mad at him for yelling at you that I let him float around down here for an hour or so, freezing to death. <laughs> Good. <laughs> you going skinny dipping? Huh? Are you going skinny dipping? Ah, uh, you? Nah. I try to be selective about who I flash in front of, you know? Oh. Chelsea says you're a real heavy-duty fisherman. She calls you the old man of the sea. Yeah, uh, quite a few. You fish? 
Nah. What do you do out there in California? I mean, what does one do for recreation when one is 13 and not in school? We cruise chicks. Hmm? Cruise chicks, you know, meet them, girls. Try to pick them up. What do you do with them when you have them? Suck face. Beg your pardon? You know, kiss. Suck face, you kiss. Ever read this book, Treasure Island? No. Go read it. Now? Go on, take it upstairs, read the first chapter, give me a report in the morning. I thought you said we were gonna have a party here, though. I'll call you when the party's underway, if it ever is. Go on. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Chelsea's still in the water. You should go on down. Uh -huh. No one should skinny dip alone. <laughs> right. uh, oh, um. Yes? What, uh, what is that over there? Well, that's a lawn chair. Oh. Oh. Go on. Right down the path. Right. See you later. I thought you'd be nude. <laughs> no. Sorry. I didn't want to overwhelm our guest on his first night. He's nice, isn't he? Mm. Forty dollars a filling. Forty dollars? That's enough to keep you off sweets. <laughs> hey, he'd be a good catch, wouldn't he? Said they wanted to sleep together. Well, why not? They're big people. Yeah. You and I did, didn't we? Did we? Oh, no. But not. Have you been picking on him? Yeah. He finds me fascinating. <laughs> well, why not? Norman. Norman. Chelsea wants us to do something for her. She wants to leave Billy here with us for a month. Which Billy? Oh, Billy Norman, the little one. Bill is supposed to have him for the summer, and the kid would be miserable in Europe. Bill seems very nice, and Chelsea needs someone nice. Couldn't we do that for her? What would we do with a boy? What would I say to him? Oh, you think of something. Let's do it. Let's say we'll do it and give Chelsea some happiness, yes? All right. We'll have a splendid time, the three of us, won't we? I don't know. We might. You know, Norman, you really are the sweetest man in the world. But I'm the only one who knows it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Norman. Happy birthday to you. And many more. I suppose you expect me to sing something now. Uh, I'm not about to. I've been trying all day to draw some profound conclusions about living four score years. I haven't thought of anything. Surprised I got here so fast. <laughs> but I'm glad I got to spend so much time with this beautiful woman. What's your name again? <laughs> <laughs> and I want to thank all of you for coming all the way here from Disneyland to Witness this historic event. Now that I'm out of hot air, I'm going to need a little assistance to get these candles out. <laughs> Come on, everybody.
chicken. Yeah. You've held up good. Oh, thanks. So have you. <laughs> Bill, this is my old friend Charlie. He's the mailman. Uh, hi. How are you? Hello. Want a ride? I'd love one. <laughs> Deliver the mail in a boat, huh? What an incredible tradition. Oh, Charlie's a legend on this lake. He gets the mail through no matter what. Isn't that right, Charlie? Yeah, yeah I guess so. <laughs> Must be a bitch in the winter, huh? Yeah, hey, uh, in the winter, I have a hell of a time. Of course, there's nobody on the lake to deliver to, so I get done a lot faster. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a great setup here. You're a uh, you're lucky man. You're a lucky man, too. Yeah, I guess I am. Um, what, uh, what do you usually do at a time like this? Well, generally, I just fall into the lake. Just, uh... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> 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 All right, come on, Dad. Big rolls here. You can beat them. All right. Big rolls. All right. Two threes. What does that mean? That means doubles, which always means you get 14, you see? You just send me home and get 20 more, for God's sake. <laughs> All right, Dad -er. Good, huh? Excellent. You're a natural. Starting to regret teaching you this game. <laughs> Chels. Hey, Chels, Parcheesi Pro. Chelsea doesn't like playing <laughs> games. We don't know why. Probably doesn't like losing. I tend to panic when the competition gets too intense. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. We play serious Parcheesi around here. I let Norman win every week or so just to keep his spirits up. <laughs> <laughs> what I'd like to know is why you enjoy playing games. Huh? You seem to like beating people. I wonder why. Get another chance, Bill. Another roll of the dice. Oh. You're having fun. That's why you come to camp, you know, to have fun. <laughs> What's the matter, darling? Nothing. I don't think I've ever grown up on Golden Pond. Do you understand? No, no, I don't think I understand. It doesn't matter. I act like a big person everywhere else. I'm in charge of Los Angeles, and I come here, I feel like a little fat girl. Well, that's just because your father said that. My father is a goddamn bastard. Oh, come on, Chuck, watch your language. Why, are you gonna wash my mouth out with soap? It was a rather bizarre custom. Father, do you know? I've been answering to Norman all my life. Makes me so mad even when I'm 3,000 miles away and I don't even see him. I'm still answering to him. Norman is a goddamn poop. Oh, for the Lord's sake, here we go again. 
He had a miserable childhood. Father was overbearing, the mother ignored you. What else is new? Chelsea, you have a great big chip on your shoulder, which is very unattractive. It is. It is. You stay away for years at a time. You never come home unless I beg you to, and then when you do, all you can do is be disagreeable about the past. What's the point? Don't you think that everyone looks back on their childhood with a certain amount of bitterness and regret about something? It doesn't have to ruin your life, darling. You're a big girl now. Aren't you tired of it all? Boa, boa, boa. Life marches by, Chels. I suggest you get on with it. Wonderful trip, darling. And don't worry, Billy will take good care of us. <laughs> okay. Don't go getting involved with any foreigners. Right. Yeah, yeah, goodbye, Joe. Goodbye, kid. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're gonna be okay now? Oh, sure. Behave yourself. Yeah. Hey, listen, you guys behave yourself too now. We will. Okay. Norman, goodbye. You work on that Porchisi game. Ha ha ha. Good luck, everybody. Ethel, yeah. thank you so much. We had a great time. Thank you. I'm so happy to. Okay. Bye-bye. 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 I want you guys to know that I'm not about to take any crap from you. Well, gentlemen, it's a beautiful day. We're going fishing. What? We're going what? Fishing. You remember fishing, Norman? You're going to show Billy what life is all about on Golden Pond. Come on, Billy. Oh, shit. I beg your pardon. Does that mean you can't wait to get out there, or that it's not your cup of tea? It's bullshit. That's all. I see. Well, come on, Norman. Let's get ready. You like that word, don't you? Bullshit. Yeah. It's a good word. Okay, Grandpa, do your stuff. <laughs> Pretty slick, huh? <laughs> Look at this. This was Chelsea's when she was about your age. Got some pretty respectable fish wearing this. <laughs> Surprised you still kept it if it's Chelsea's. Uh, I might not stick around here. I might just tall my ass out to Wyoming or Puerto Rico, one of those places. Listen, I mean, I, I know I'm just being dumped here. Just like my middle name. Turkeys don't want me. Bullshit. I'm 67 years older than you. How do you know what I want? We're going fishing now. We want you to go along. If you want to come with us, I suggest you get your ass down to the dock in two minutes. OK, Mr. Turkey, let's go. There he is. <clears throat> I, 
uh, I thought I might just sort of come along and see what this bullshit is all about. Get in. You look very handsome in that fishing vest. Oh, thank you. I mean, thank you. So, how fast did this old tub go anyway? This time, not just back, up and back. Come on. Come on, nothing to be afraid of. Back trip from the easiest dives. Oh, yeah? Then why don't you come and try it? Norbert, you stay right where you are. Dive, boy. All right. One, two, three. Oh. God. That wasn't it. Thanks for telling me. Norman, we've got him for a whole month. Don't kill him the first week. Patient when you're fishing for trout, boy. There's a trout living in this cove. Weighs 10 pounds if he weighs an ounce. First saw him three or four years ago. Hooked him two years ago. And again last year. But he's a crafty old son of a bitch! It's your last chance, Walter! Call him Walter because he reminds me of Ethel's brother. He's fat, and lazy, and ugly! Okay, throw her out. Let her out, plenty of line. How's your line? On the bottom? If your line's floating, it's on the bottom. That isn't doing you any good. Bring it up, bring it up, for Christ's sake. All right. Hey, man, you don't have to yell at me. I think you are anyway, Long John Silver. I'm sorry. It's okay. Having fun? Yeah. That's good. They're cruising chicks, isn't it? No. Uh, I suppose not. Not 
out here. Brought your lunch. Well, I held you find us. Shh. You'll scare the fish. Ethel, this is supposed to be a secret fishing place. Lucky guess. We don't need any lunch. We got more important things going on here. Don't be such an old poop. Billy might get hungry. Bye bye. Brothers. Boy, we're going to have chalk for dinner tonight. Not the little of the bank was in back of me. It ain't no stupid sunfish. Oh, oh. Hello, baby. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, lovely. Get your head down underneath him. Lovely, bring him up. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> that beauty. Yes, sir. Oh, this is a trout, a <laughs> rainbow trout. Good going, boy. <laughs> Norman, we've caught eight million fish. Are you sure none of these is Walter? Yep, Walter is humongous. Those fish you got there are little mothers. Well, the disgusting little mothers. You got something against fish guts, boy? Hey, Norman, can I ask you something? How did you get Ethel anyway? Huh? I sent away for her two box ups from Quaker Road. Come on, don't bullshit me, man. Well, I met Ethel when I was a principal and she was a substitute teacher. She was the prettiest thing I'd ever seen, so I told her she made my heart go pitter pat. She fell in love with me immediately. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Is that the way Norman got you, Ethel? Don't be silly. He didn't get me at all. I won him in a contest. He was the booby prize. Has he got you cleaning those stupid fish? That's right. He cleans the stupid ones. I clean the smart ones. <laughs> Fortunately, the smart ones are too smart to get caught. That's why they're in schools. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in, Norman. Get me a fire going. It's going to be a bit nippy tonight. You hear that, boy? Get a fire going. Norman, for Pete's sake, Billy doesn't have to do all your chores. What's the point in having a dwarf if he doesn't do chores? Damn. He got the match backwards. Want me to do it? I think I know how to light a fire, for Christ's sake. What are you reading? Tale of Two Cities. Ah, trivia, trivia. Norman, Norman, you set the house up. Uh, what the hell is going on? Get a bucket. What? Get a bucket. Good for you. Good for you. Let's have the screen. Screen. Yep. For God's sake, you made a hell of a mess. What? No, but he just... Don't yell at me, man. 
I guess it's not safe to have me around here, is it? What are you staring at me for, you little son of a bitch? Mustn't let Norman upset you, Billy. Sure. He wasn't yelling at you, you know. Sounds like he is yelling at you. No. He was yelling at life. What the heck does that mean? Oh, that means he's like an old lion. He has to remind himself that he can still roar. Billy, sometimes. You have to look hard at a person and remember that he's doing the best he can. He's just trying to find his way, that's all. Just like you. Hey, Norman? Norman? Hey, Norm? Yeah, listen, I was wondering, can I take the, uh, there four for a little spin? Absolutely not! Oh, come on, I know how to drive. I think it would be all right. Don't you, Norman? Good God! Can you be careful? Oh, sure. French, you know, means I'm coming. I'll get La Porte. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Ethel, allow me. I don't believe it. Yeah. Norman and I fixed the mother. Ah. <laughs> oh, great. We haven't looked for this stupid son of a bitch fish. Might as well give it a try, huh? 
They call this Purgatory Cove, boy. See those rocks? They eat boats. Do you know the way? Of course I know the way. Get up on the deck, tell me where the rocks are. Come on, up there. All right. Okay. There we go. Okay, there's one coming up. Which side? Uh, the left. Port, boy. Okay, port. Another one on port. Oh, there's one coming up right here. Oh, oh, shit. Uh, the storm, the storm. Okay, there's one, uh, port, port side. All right, starboard, over there. Place for a crafty old son of a bitch. <laughs> well, the fish aren't just going to jump in the boat, you know. Get it in gear, turkey. Getting dark, Chelsea. Who are you calling Chelsea? I'm Billy, remember? Hey, come on, man. Hey, are you okay? Of course I'm okay. Okay. Hey, we better hurry up and catch Walter, huh? I mean, I'm not gonna be here much longer. Yeah, neither am I. Miss you, Norman. What? Norman! Hey, Norman, look, shit! I got the mother! I got him! Well, get the net, Norman! Get it in gear, turkey! <laughs> I got him! What the heck is that? Good God. It's a dead loon, Norman. The poor thing. Oh, it smells too. Yeah, hold on. Let it go. Let it go. Norman, are you afraid of dying? What? Are you afraid to die? What the hell kind of question is that? I was just wondering, that's all. Well, I don't know why everybody has to talk about everything all the time. 
Let's go home, boy. Are you sure we're gonna be able to get out of here? Of course we can. Come up the anchor. Get up on deck. Hey, get back here. I forgot you're a hotshot boat driver. Here, you take the wheel and I'll navigate. Yeah? Well, you know, I'm, I'm not afraid to do this. I know. Just take us real slow. Do what I tell you. Starboard again. We've been back and forth here three times. They must have pulled up somewhere. You don't suppose he would have gone in there, do you, Charlie? He's not that crazy. Yes, he is. Let's go. I'm not going to drive my boat into Purgatory Cove. Yes, you are, Charlie. I'll point the way. Oh, holy mackinac. It's full of rocks, Charlie. Look out. To the left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Am I okay. All right? Keep to the right. Keep to the right. Keep to the right. I, I am. I'm, I'm, okay. Uh, yeah. That's better. That's better. Okay. Straight ahead. See nothing. Black rocks here. Oh, Lord. Rocks here. No, but say, I'm Junior. Where the hell are you? Charlie. There we are, Charlie. Oh, my God. 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 O
shouldn't be out here this time of night. You poor, you goddamn poor. Now, my boys, I'm off to the woods to find mushrooms or flowers or something. You're going to be all right. Bye-bye. you juvenile delinquents think you're off to? Norman, I thought you were in too much pain to exert yourself. Well, well I am. I'm just doing this for Billy. Give the poor boy another chance to catch a fish. We've been doing goddamn jigsaw puzzles for a week. You will stay in our cove, won't you? There aren't any trout left in our cove. Norman? We have enough trout left in the fridge to last us six years. Yeah, but we haven't caught Walter yet. Never mind, we'll stay in the damn cove. You can tell who we are by the gleam in our eyes. Oh, our minds are clear and our hearts are strong. We are dancing here, but we won't be long. There will soon be dear where them now are pawns. But we'll remember our years on Golden Pond. On, on Golden, Golden Pond. Pond. How? <laughs> Mommy. Oh. <laughs> How did you get here? I rented a car. A Valari made by Plymouth. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at you. My God, you've had this jacket as long as I can remember. <laughs> it looks it, doesn't it? <laughs> looks great. How mm -hmm. was your trip? Mm, not bad. How's the kid? You still got him or did you drown him? We still got him. He's out there fishing with his best buddy. You can see him. Where's the there for? Charlie's fixing her. Norman and Billy tried to drive her through a rock in Purgatory Cove. Did they get hurt? No, Norman got a bump on the head when she's playing to the hill. <laughs> but he's all right. They're both fine, thank God. Do you still have Bill, or did you drown him? <laughs> oh, I still have him. He had to get back to the coast. He had a, a mouth that needed looking into. Ah. So, Norman and Billy have gotten along all right? Oh, Billy is the happiest thing that's happened to Norman since Roosevelt. I should have rented him a 13-year-old boy years ago. You could have traded me in. Except I think he probably makes a better son than I did. You made a very nice daughter. How come it's so easy? What do you mean, darling? Why wasn't that old son of a bitch ever my friend? You're sounding very childish. Of course he was your friend. He's your father. Child, you're such a nice person. Can't you think of something nice to say? Um, I married Bill in Brussels. You, you did what in Brussels? I married Bill. Oh, does it count in this country? <laughs> Afraid so. Oh, bless you, darling. Congratulations. Nothing to it. Norman will be so pleased. Yeah, sure. What do you suppose he's going to say? Hey, Chels, fantastic. I'm so happy that you finally got your life together, and I'm, I'm so proud. And he will be proud, but no, he won't. Up. No, he won't. And you know why? 
because he doesn't care. He is a selfish son of a bitch. That old son of a bitch happens to be my husband. Oh, shit! Norman! Shit! Don't get so excited. It's only a sunfish. Huh? Only a sunfish? You got any word of a genius? No respectable trout in this cold. Chased him out years ago. Well, it's doing a pretty good trout imitation. Get the net! Good God! It's Walter! What the hell are you doing here, you son of a bitch? Oh, keep that line tight, boy. Oh, you beauty. Keep your line tight. Keep reeling in. A little closer, a little closer. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. And we caught Walter. Caught Walter, the son of a bitch. <laughs> Charles, brought your sweat out and your shoes and your cars out front. I'm such an ass. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. But, darling, you're wrong about your dad. He does care. He cares deeply. It's just that he, he's an absolute mutt about telling anyone. I know he'd walk through fire for me. And he'd walk through fire for you, too. And if you don't understand that, you're not looking closely enough. I don't even know him. Charles, Norman is 80 years old. He has heart palpitations and trouble remembering things. Just exactly when do you expect this friendship to begin? I'm afraid of him. Well, he's afraid of you, so you should get along fine. Here he comes, Charles. Talk to him. Okay. Hello, Norman. Oh, well, well, well. Oh, Chelsea, we call it Walter. Do you know who Walter is? Well, I have a feeling he's a fish. <laughs> yes, a humongous fish. And we caught him today, didn't we, Norman? Well, let me see him. We let him go. Yeah, yeah, we let him go. I think I've heard this story before. No, no, it's true. Oh. See, Norman and I thought that if Walter's lived this long, we should let him keep on living. I'm gonna go tell Ethel. Hey, Norman, we caught the son of a bitch. We caught him. Good job. <laughs> Woo! You got yourself a friend, huh? Yeah, he's all right. Hasn't been too difficult. How, how's your forehead? Huh? Your... Oh, this. That's all right. A lot of pain, nothing to worry about. Norman, I, I want to talk to you. Well, it seems to be the problem. There's no problem. I just... I want to talk to you. I, um... I think that, um... Maybe you and I should have the kind of relationship that we're supposed to have. What kind of relationship is that? Well, you know, like a, like a father and a daughter. Yeah, just in the nick of time, huh? Worried about the will, are you? Well, I'm leaving everything to you except what I'm taking with me. Just stop it. I don't want anything. It just, it seems that you and me have been mad at each other for so long. I didn't know we were mad. I thought we just didn't like each other. I, I want to be your friend. Oh. This mean you come around more often? You mean a lot to your mother.
work. I'll come around more often. No. Yep. Oh, I got married in, in Brussels. You did? In Brussels? Uh -huh. <laughs> he makes me very happy. Well, good. Does he speak English? Bill, I married Bill. Bill, oh, Bill. Good, <laughs> hey. I'm glad, Chelsea, that uh, Sam Fantastic. What? Is Billy going to be living with you? Uh-huh. Well, good. Isn't that something? Good for you. Yeah. You know something? I got him doing the backflip just like a pro. Oh, yeah? That's great. Yeah. Want me to get him down and show you? <sighs> no, no, not, not right now. OK. No, that's right. <laughs> you never were a great backflipper, were you? <laughs> I was always too fat, remember? <laughs> yeah, I do remember that now. Well, probably a lot easier for a boy. I beg your pardon. Do you want to see me do a backflip? What? I am, I am going to do a goddamn backflip. Chelsea, you don't have to. I want to. Not just back, up and back. Oh, I'm scared. Don't be scared of that. That's one of the easiest times of all. I'm scared anyway. Don't do it. It doesn't matter if you don't do the stupid dive. It's not important. Instead of going to Florida. Well, we'll discuss it. If I can persuade Norman that Los Angeles is part of the United States, <laughs> it shouldn't be too much. To... Norman, what the world are you doing now? Hey, you're a cool breeze. Be sure to take a break from cruising. Wow, thank you, Norman, Captain. Norman, he can't take that fool thing on the plane. Yes, he can. Oh. Got something for you, too. You know what this is? University of Pennsylvania diving finals 19, 21 second place. Oh, thanks. Now I can retire. So that your new husband maybe give us a discount on dental work. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'll be seeing you, Nitwit. Okay. I'll miss you, Norman. Bye bye, darling. <laughs> Goodbye, woman. Bye bye, Billy. <laughs> Bye, Norman. Dad. Let's get these last boxes out of the car and be gone. For God's sake. Not too heavy, is it? Of course it's not too heavy. <laughs> yeah, this is heavy. You're trying to kill me. I thought about it. Put it down if it's too much. What the hell do you have in here? My mother's china. Uh, Put the box down, darling. Your mother never liked me. Of course she did. Oh. Norman. What is it? What's the matter, darling? What's the matter? Oh, my oh. God. Oh. Norman. Norman. My darling. My darling. I'll get your medicine. Here. Norman. Take this, darling. Put it under your tongue. What is it? Nitroglycerin. Put it under your tongue. Dear God, don't take him now. 
You don't want him. He's, he's just an old poop. Norman. Norman. Maybe we should call a doctor. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll get the telephone. I'll get the telephone. Hello, hello. Dear God. Dear God. How are you feeling, Norman? Pretty good. How are you? How's the angina? The what? The pain, damn it. Pretty good as pain goes. They stupid operator. Hello. 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 Now, what's the matter with her? She's slow. How are you feeling now? Uh, I don't know. You're planning to die. Is that what you're up to? While I'm waiting for this moron to answer the telephone, let me say something to you, no one there, Junior. I'd rather you didn't. Really? Yes. Oh, this stupid, stupid operator. I'm going to have to call the hospital directly. The phone book. I'll get the phone book. Yeah. What is it? Come here. Oh, my God. Yes, Norman, my darling. Ethel. Yes, I'm here, Norman. Ethel. Yes, yes, yes. Ethel. What is it, Norman? I think I'm feeling all right now. My gosh, are you serious? Yeah, my heart stopped hurting. Maybe I'm dead. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, sorry about your mother's china. Why did you strain yourself? You know better. I was showing off. Trying to turn you on. Well, you succeeded. No need for you to try that sort of thing again. Good. You know something? This is the first time that I've really felt that we were going to die. I've known it all along. When I looked at you, here, on the floor, I could actually see you dead. I could see you. I could see you in your blue suit and white starched shirt and Thomas's funeral parlor at Bradshaw Street. Have a look. Not good, Norman. You've been talking about death ever since we met, but this is the first time I really felt it. Mm -hmm. How's it feel? Oh, feels odd. Cold, I guess. Not, not that bad, really. Not so frightening, almost comforting. That was such a bad place to go, I don't know. <laughs> Don't you want to say goodbye to the lake? Do you think you're strong enough? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Oh. If I fall over face first in the water, <laughs> you'll know I wasn't. Well, take it easy, for God's sake. I'm only good for one near miss a day. Uh, hello there. Hi. Want to dance? Or would you rather just suck face? Oh, no, you really are. <laughs> Hey, you know. Ethel, listen. The loons. They've come around to say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, just the two of them now. Baby's all grown up and moved to Los Angeles somewhere. <laughs> <laughs>